Hello, and welcome back to another episode of JustFrugalMe.com. Are you going to the grocery store spending thousands of dollars every single year on produce? Did you know that growing your own food, you can save thousands of dollars every single year? Today, I'm out here in the garden with Jerome, and we're going to talk about the benefits of growing your own food versus always going to the grocery store. So what are the benefits of growing your own food versus going to the grocery store? Yeah, it's, it's, it's several benefits that's associated with growing your own foods uh, as a, you know, in your backyard or yeah. even an herb garden inside the house. Uh, one of the main benefits is that you know exactly what goes into the food. Yeah, um, you don't have to worry about pesticides unless you put the pesticides on there. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, where it came from or, you know, the main thing that's the main benefit of growing your own food is knowing exactly where it came from. How many hours a week do you put in to make sure that the food is growing like it should? Like all things in life, you get out what you put in. The seeds cost maybe two or three dollars oh, for wow. uh, a pack of seeds, and it gives you at least three to four months of uh, vegetables, uh, everything ready from like this year, planted some squash, uh, lot, lots of squash plants, uh, pinto beans, green beans, uh, field peas. Uh, my uncle has some tomatoes here, and it really, Everything that you see in the garden, all the plant, all the seeds uh, were less than hundred dollars. Kind of time per week, uh, I say I probably come out here maybe uh, once every two, three days, and and reap the benefits of what I put in. Reap what you sow because if you don't put any work in, you get no work out. Because uh, I mean, you see, it's so much more space that I could use, mm -hmm. but it really just depends on. Uh, I mean, have a small family, wife, and two kids. Uh, and I give a lot of the vegetables to uh, my parents and grandparents, uh, gr my grandmother, just people around and you, you feel that uh, you get really get to a point where you're just giving more away than you actually ingesting yourself. What is your savings looking like growing your own crop versus always running to the grocery store to go buy the squash, buy the tomatoes, buy the cucumbers? For example, the other day I went by the local grocery store and I was just looking at, looking at squash. It was on sale for 99 cents a pound. That seemed like a great deal, right? Oh, yes. However, I could go out here right now and get about 10 pounds of squash. So mm -hmm. really, that's really the savings because we have everything we need. Nature gives us everything we need already. We got the sun, <laughs> got the water, the rain. So it's kind of like a little bit of work in the beginning. It, the savings add up so much over time. Not only can you, your family benefit from this, but it is a good way to start a business as well. Yeah, oh yes, m most definitely. Uh, like here in North Carolina and all across the country, you always, because there's an ongoing and growing desire for natural foods. Yes. Because with gen genetically modified vegetables and uh, all the things going around, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so scary sometimes you go to a grocery store and not like, you might get a, a bag salad. Then two weeks later, there's a recall um, from the FDA saying, hey, you know, this, remember that salad you bought that's trying to be healthy? <laughs> oh, it, it's, it has poison and it might kill you. Don't eat it. Oh, or, yes. or because I got watermelons growing over here also. They're very small, but at the same time, you know, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to have a big watermelon and I'm, I, I can feed it to my daughter and not worry about her be like, not worry about, oh, the FDA saying, remember that watermelon you ate last week? Oh, you might grow some horns. You take the seed from the local, you know, local store and put it into the ground and you grow it. Mm -hmm. Then after you grow it, you then, then it, it definitely becomes a healthy issue because if you're sitting in your house or and you're like, oh, what are we going to have for dinner today? Yes. Uh, you might have this, you might have that. And you know what? We need some vegetables. It's so much easier to just go outside and get vegetables because I guarantee you, when you go to the store, it's a whole lot easier to, oh, let me get, get a can this, a can that. You can just mm -hmm. go outside and get it for Free. free is the most frugal thing you can do. Yes, it's all about being frugal, not about being cheap. So are there any closing thoughts that you would like to share with the Just Frugal Me community today? Uh, yes, uh, some things you can do, uh, if you don't have land to grow a uh, garden, you can always get home plants. Uh, tomatoes are something good you can eat and very easy you can grow at home. Uh, you can have a home herb garden because uh, for like rosemary, thyme, uh, things like that, it's easy to grow. Um, you can buy little seeds at the local hardware store, grow it inside your house, and a couple weeks later, you can take off these things for months. Thank you so much today for sharing a little bit about the garden and the benefits that you can have, not only health, but financially by growing your own garden at home. Well, thank you again for tuning in to another episode of JustFrugalMe.com. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this channel, 
like this video, share this video with those who you believe that will benefit from this content, that being frugal is not about being cheap, it's about being resourceful. Have a great day.